Hello everybody, Sean here, and we're looking at the five things to consider when you're first starting out in The Elder Scrolls Online. The first thing to consider is actually the most important. What race and class are you going to play for the entirety of the game? Your decision's going to stick with you the whole time, so you definitely want to do a little bit of background research before you jump in. Each race has their own unique racial traits that set them apart from one another, and of course the four classes are very distinct, offering different playstyles for whichever one you choose. So again, going in, make sure you do a little research so that you can best find a race that fits you and a class that fits you. Tip number two is to listen to what NPCs actually have to say. A lot of people tend to just skip through this stuff, but The Elder Scrolls Online is very, very story driven. There's a ton of content out there for you to read or listen to, and you just have to make sure you're actually taking the time to do so. Quests are often quite funny, uh, NPCs are very well written, and very enjoyable just to talk with. So take the time, enjoy the quests, don't just skip right through them, and you'll have a much more enjoyable experience with The Elder Scrolls Online. Collecting everything you find is not new to Elder Scrolls players but it is something you should really prioritize in Elder Scrolls Online. Money is not easy to come by when you're first starting out, and one of the best ways to make a quick buck is to sell off a bunch of resources that you have collected while well on your adventures. Ores, timber, all of it's worth money. Pick it up, sell it later, profit. Tip number four is to craft your own gear. In the early levels, it can be pretty hard to keep buying gear as you level up, but if you use the resources you've been finding out in the field, you could go to any crafting station and craft some basic equipment for yourself. It's a great way to keep your character geared up and always equipped with the best items, while still eventually selling those items later to get some gold and fill your wallets. The last big tip we can give you is about your skills. There are a lot more skills than there will be skill points, so it pays to plan ahead take a look at what you have available to you and what you want to specialize in. Of course you can put points into all of those things but then you will fall into the trap of being a dra jack of all trades character and a master of none. So plan ahead, look at what skills entice you and then work towards them while eliminating ones that don't interest you or don't seem like they would fit with the kind of character you want to be. But that is it. I hope these five tips helped you. I thank you for watching and we'll see everyone next time. Thank <laughs> you.